In this video, we demonstrate how to create accessible presentations in PowerPoint. We have a responsibility to make our digital files and learning content inclusive and improve the learning experience for our students. In this video, we'll demonstrate using the up-to-date accessible version of the Cranfield University PowerPoint template. The template includes guidance to help anyone with a permanent, temporary or situational impairment to use your file. Upon opening the presentation template, you will see eight slides providing accessibility guidance. These slides provide tips on fonts, text, visuals, slide order, hyperlinks, tables, and colors. To help ensure your presentation is accessible to all, you can follow the tips in these slides as you create your presentation, or, if preferred, you can remove them before creating your presentation. We advise that you run the accessibility checker to identify any modifications you need to make before sharing the file with your intended audience. The slides pane on the left also displays slides from the different layouts and designs available within the template. You can use these slides or delete them and select a design and layout for each of your slides individually from the new slide button. This presentation has already been created, so I'll run the accessibility checker to identify areas of improvement and correct them as necessary. From the review tab, in the accessibility group, I'll click the check accessibility icon on the top half of the button. The accessibility pane will open on the right of the screen, listing errors, warnings and tips. Under errors, there are four images with missing alternative text and one slide with a missing title. Under warnings, there are two reading order issues. To resolve the errors, click Missing Alternative Text, then click the first item. PowerPoint will go to the relevant slide and select the item the first error relates to. In the Accessibility pane, click the drop-down next to the item to view recommended actions and suggestions. Adding alt text to images provides context for assistive technologies like screen reading software. You can add a description to the image, mark it as decorative, or let PowerPoint suggest a description for you. If you choose this method, we recommend reviewing the alt text and removing any comments PowerPoint adds, for example, description automatically generated, or description generated with high confidence. You can learn about when and how to write image descriptions with the Poet Image Description tool. As this image doesn't add information to the content on the slide and was inserted to simply make the slide more visually appealing, I will mark it as decorative. Do this for images which add visual interest but are not informative or do not convey meaning. Continue working through the errors and warnings in the accessibility pane. Click the next item. Click the drop down, and for this image, as it shows a smart art graphic containing text relevant to the slide content, I will add a description. Do this for visual objects that give detailed information and for those that contain text, for example, infographics. The alt text should provide the information conveyed in the image. Click the accessibility icon to the right of the alt text pane to return to the inspection results. I'll add a description to the chart on slide 4, which was copied from Excel. The alt text for charts and graphs should provide the information conveyed within the chart. Again, click back on the accessibility pane. For the image on the final slide, let's try suggest a description for me. Note in the accessibility pane, the suggested alternative text item. Click this to verify the description.
remove the details regarding auto-generated content from the description. And if you are not happy with the description provided, simply delete it and add your own. Close the alt text pane or click back on the accessibility icon to the right of the pane. Continuing with errors, I need to address the missing slide title. I'll click it, select the item, in this case slide 4, and click the drop down to view the option to edit slide title. On this slide, it's simply that the title placeholder doesn't have any content, so I'll add some title text. People with a visual impairment or a reading disability rely on slide titles to navigate. By using a screen reader, they can quickly scan through a list of slide titles and go directly to the slide they want. If a title placeholder is missing, perhaps accidentally deleted, you will see two recommendation actions. Add slide title and add hidden slide title. This option ensures that the slide can be identified by screen reading software but isn't displayed when in presentation mode. Next, under Warnings, click Check Reading Order. Click the first item in the list. You can read more about why the fix is required and steps to fix it in the Additional Information section in the Accessibility pane. As before, click the drop-down. There is only one recommended action, Verify Object Order. It's important that the reading order is correct for screen reading software to read aloud the content of the slide in a logical order. I need to move the title, shown here in position 3, up to position 1 so that it is the first item read aloud. Click the item to be moved, then click the move up or move down commands as required. Notice the image content placeholder isn't ticked. That's because the image was marked as decorative on this slide. I'll continue correcting the reading order for any other slide. Here we can see slide 5's title will be the second item to be read aloud. I'll click the title, then click Move Up. When all accessibility issues have been corrected, you will see confirmation in the accessibility pane, No Accessibility Issues Found, and the words Accessibility, Good to Go appear on the status bar. If you see Accessibility Investigate, click on the text to run the accessibility check again.